Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We've got James in here with us this morning. And James and his dad drove all the way over here from San Angelo, Texas. For all you non-Texans, that's West Texas. Took him six hours to get here. Would you mind sharing with their YouTube audience why you drove all this way to get your very first... This is his very first chiropractic adjustment ever, by the way. Um, I'm just having real bad lower back pain. And uh, as soon as it goes down in like the left side of my leg... And uh, I've been to a few other people and just really want to get, come see Dr. Johnson and get adjusted by the best. Well, he said that, not me. <laughs> but, you know, the thing is, we do very thorough histories and examinations on all of our patients. Did you feel that my history and examination of you was thorough? Yes, sir. Very you thorough. feel like we've identified your problem with the examination that I yes, did sir. on you? Yes, sir. Yeah. So he's going to be spoiled from this point <laughs> forward. But I am going to refer him out to my friend out in Abilene, Texas, which is Scott Wolford, and uh, he just, can go out there for follow-ups. I did San Antonio, too. Dr. Clean. Oh, yeah. And Dr. Clean, San Antonio. I think Abilene's closer than San Antonio, though, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, he knows about my technique and... and practices that same way too he's a good guy to do a follow-up with and you're always welcome to come back here if you're spoiled like I think you're be. <laughs> so this is his very first chiropractic adjustment anywhere um, we're gonna start off on the biophysics table like we always do let's go ahead and lay you on your stomach Okay, now I'm checking his leg length his left leg is a quarter of an inch shorter than his right leg in this prone position and then when I bring them up, it gets a quarter inch longer, and that tightens up in his low back, doesn't it, James? Yes, sir. So that's a positive knockless. Because this one got longer on the left, that's a positive deer field on the left. And we'll do those post adjustments too. He's very tender on his left SI joint, which he's getting pain radiating down into his buttocks all the way down into the calf of the right or the left leg. That's called lumbosacral radiculopathy. I'm going to start off with your pelvis here now, James. These might be a little sore at first, but they'll feel better once I get them back in place. Yep. A little deeper in person, huh, James? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yep. There it is. Okay, keep breathing. Don't hold your breath on me. Yes, sir. Crack A's gonna love you too, James. <laughs> Looky there already. Guys, legs are even now. James, tell me if this feels any easier coming up this time. Yeah. You see, his legs stayed even that time, which is exactly what we want to see. So that is objective evidence, pre and post of the adjustment, to effectively prove that this adjustment was effective in correcting his lumbosacral spine biomechanics and his pelvic biomechanics in his sacrum and SI joints. You're going to feel your head popping up on this next one. There you go. Okay, let's turn you on your back now. Okay, now slide down this way a little bit more and put both, no, that's too far. There you go. Put both arms out, palms facing up. Now adjust both your shoulders, your clavicles, and your anterior ribs here. Ooh, this right one's sticking out a lot more. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. Has that always been that way? Yeah. And this, you've got some only growth on is that sore mm -hmm. you mind, can you lift your shirt up for me so yeah. i can see that yeah. have you traumatized this in the past like with a motorcycle accident or fall or no nothing on a sports injury or no okay you might just be deformed from birth yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay you put your hands on you tell me now it's not really a deformity but it is a unusual anatomical finding. It's on his right costosternal ribcage area. There we go. 
Should have felt those for me, mm -hmm. yellow up to your mm -hmm. lower back, James. Okay, let's sit tip face towards your dad. Oh. You okay? Yep. Because I'm just getting started. <laughs> Let this one go. See, there's your right shoulder. See how the, this one's kind of hung up compared mm -hmm. to your right one? Yeah. yeah. Not anymore. Mm. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very good. Okay, let's come over on this table next. You got a front row seat right there, James. <laughs> No, you're fine, Miss Good. You can catch his head in the basket. <laughs> there you go. That puts a lot of confidence in you, doesn't it? Right. <laughs> no, I don't have any heads in my basket or on the walls. So. We won't start with yours. These pins are going to feel really tight, too, James, and they're supposed to. Yes, sir. So on this adjustment, James, you want to just keep your teeth together. Don't bite your tongue. Don't talk. Deep breath through your nose. Wiggle your left ear. There it is. Oh. Okay, lay back. Lay oh. Back. Lay back. Breathe. Breathe. Deep breath. Deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Keep breathing. That was like my first ring dinner. Keep breathing. <laughs> deep breaths. It'll calm down. Deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. That's gonna change a whole lot of things for you there, brother. Okay, let me have this, let go. There you go. Just like that. Oh. Yes, sir. Now y'all might think that I just really tortured him on that, but I've been doing this for 40 years, oh, and I've seen that reaction. <laughs> I've seen that reaction a bunch of times because it's ripping scar <laughs> tissue and adhesions loose. Let's sit up here. And biomechanical impropriety has been there his whole life. I'll come this way. You okay? Yeah. Okay, let's go over and get over here. Uh, you will be. Take a look at the mirror right now. Can you yeah. when you walk in? You see yeah. it's right down the middle now? Yeah, my yeah, arms are right straighter. My arms aren't right forward. That's right. Because mm -hmm. yeah. your head's up better. Yeah. <laughs> I am still going to shoot you though because you're in Houston still. <laughs> so the sore spots in there still, huh, James? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to give you your homework now. Your head's forward, pulling your shoulders forward. So pull these shoulders up back like this. First, hold these there, please. Extend these back like this, palms forward towards the mirror. You see how that tightens up that whole mm -hmm. trap? And then we're, your head's forward Z, so we're going to come negative Z, negative theta X. You're going to feel a little tap here. These are called mirror image exercises, and I'm doing a mirror image atlas adjustment on you, which sends neurology into the brain to get you to remember this position. It's called neuroplasticity. Relax. Bend your head forward and backwards again. I bet you this feels easier this time. Mm-hmm. A lot easier. Imagine that. Yeah. Cool deal. Oh. <laughs> so James, this is your very first chiropractic experience anywhere. How would you describe your very first experience here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief with our YouTube audience? Wonderful. I felt a lot better instantly. Did uh, you know if you were going to live there for a second? Yeah, I, I didn't. But I mean, I felt, I felt for like pretty Things moved that years. never moved. Yeah, that was... And you felt, felt that all the way down to where it was hurting too, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I felt that all the way down to where my hips connect to my back. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. You know, we didn't separate your hips from your back, though. So yeah, that was that's great. a good thing. Uh, yeah, he's going to be sore over the next 72 hours, so I recommend that all patients who leave here after their first, second, and third adjustments go put some crushed ice in a Ziploc freezer baggie directly on the skin for 20 minutes over the sore spots. Okay. Drink a gallon of water if you can get it down every day. Movement is your friend, immobility is your enemy. So if you're sitting around too much, you're laying around too much, this will get worse, it'll get more sore. If you're up moving around, walking, doing things, it'll get better quicker. 
Okay. When you leave the office here, after your adjustment, before you sit down anywhere, if you'll go for a 10 minute fast, brisk walk, like a fast, I'm gonna show them what that's supposed to look like, Renee. Okay, okay. You know, me, okay. This is how I want you to walk. Hello. <laughs> it's called cross crawl. You notice my right arm's coming out, same time my left leg's coming out and vice versa. Right side of the brain controls the left side of the body and vice versa. If you do the cross crawl neurology walk after your adjustment, your brain will start readapting to this new biomechanical position I just put you in quicker and also will stay that way for a longer period of time. My personal belief system from all the research that I've read and gleaned through over the past several years is that's why I'm getting such good results on my patients is because I'm not only changing their biomechanics, I'm changing their neurology. Mm -hmm. And not just the neurology out to your arms or extremities, but your brain through neuroplasticity. Does that make sense? A little bit, not too much. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is his very first chiropractic adjustment. He's gonna be spoiled forever now. <laughs> This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas with James from West Texas. We'll see y'all soon.